And today I have with me Marty Glenn, who's um, a good friend and colleague for many years in pre and perinatal psychology. And um, we both had our start in working with Ray Castellino and the somatic worlds. Um, so, uh, so I'm so glad you're here, Marty. Thank you, Kate. I was very excited about being here and getting to be with you again, because this work is so important, especially right now. So thank you so much. Yes, it is. And you're going to be a part of our panel talk on adverse experiences for babies. And uh, But why don't you just tell people who don't know you a little bit more about, about you? What would you like people to know? Well, I started as a psychotherapist and a professor of psychology and helped start one graduate school. And then I started another graduate school because there was no place you could get a doctorate in prenatal and perinatal psychology and somatic psychology. And so we started Santa Barbara Graduate Institute, my husband and I, and ran it for 10 years and um, still hear from our students that are out there writing books and starting programs and things. And very, very powerful passionate about that, those first experiences and how they lay the foundation for everything that happens in our lives. And our focus now is in working with adults. We do intensive works. Our institute is called Rizio, mm -hmm. like we're rising together um, with adults and a lot of whom don't even know it, but have had some early experiences that have set a trajectory that's less than they can be. And so I'm very passionate about helping people find their resiliency, um, have sweeter, deeper relationships, experience more love. Um, it's incredible. So thank you. Yes, it's been really wonderful to watch you grow, Marty, over the years, um, because you I, I met you when you were running that Graduate Institute. And then through APA, I, uh, the Association for Pre and Perinatal Psychology and Health, and then watched you sort of transition into doing this um, work with adults, which are private retreats and in small groups, uh, you and Ken and a talented group of um, professionals helping people find themselves um, in a deeper way. Yes. Um, so, so you're going to be uh, speaking in our panel talk, which starts next month in May. Uh, so why don't you tell people what you're going to be talking about? Well, I'm, I'm very passionate, as I said, about resilience. Um, I came from a very early experience that uh, was in some way, well, it wasn't ideal. Let's just put it that way. And I've always been passionate about looking at why is it some people thrive and some people don't? And how do we become resilient? That capacity to bounce back or have the energy to do what we're here to do in the world. Mm -hmm. And all of us can be resilient. Mm -hmm. And we know now from science what it takes to be resilient. Mm -hmm. um, it takes experiences. It takes being witnessed by people who care. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it's possible for all of us to move from where we are to where we want to be in our lives now, regardless of what happened to us in our earliest experiences. And the steps are pretty simple. They come straight out of science and they're very simple things that we can do that help us have experiences in our bodies with each other that help us open to a greater possibility in our lives. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be telling stories from your years of working yes. with these, these yes. ad, ad, adverse experiences and resilience. Yes. So like, I know you're going to, I remember all those stories a little bit, but anyway, when we presented together, so they'll, they'll be dynamic and they'll be engaging. And I'm, I'm sure some of our audience will be able to see themselves in the things that you have to teach. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, I'm excited. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks for agreeing to be a part of our panel, Marty. And thanks for coming and talking with me today. You're very welcome. I'm looking forward to it.